Hello and welcome to a brief video on how to use the Pro Expanded Ledger for personal and business. In this video you're going to see how you can easily keep track of all your business and personal income and expenses with this ledger program. Let's take a look at these screens and enter a few transactions. The screen you're looking at now is the opening screen and it's the first screen you're going to see when you run the program. You're going to see three buttons, Current File, New File, and Open File. To get started for the very first time, you're going to want to create a new bookkeeping file, so we choose New File. We then have four file types to choose from. A generic file called General Business or specific files for truckers, real estate agents, and landlords with rental properties. Each setup will create a chart of income and expenses specific for that application. Let's start with general business to get a feel for the program. Here you have our working screen. Now before we start making entries by choosing the enter record button, we need to go to setup and let's set up this file just the way we like it. And as you can see, we just go through the prompts. You know, when does your financial year begin? What is the first month of your financial year? What date format would you like to use? What accounts do you have for your income and expenses? classes you can set up. You can set up the, you can have the generic classes of general business split and personal, but you can also set up subclasses so you get an income and expense statement for every project or property or every truck or every customer for that matter. Whatever you would like to track separately as a separate income and st expense statement, you can add and set that up here. You can also delete and edit as you would like. Going down further, we can set up our income categories. And we can also check them off to decide if you want that income category to show up on a business financial statement. If it's unchecked, it'll just show up on a personal financial statement. So expense categories. We have the same check mark system on the left. And on the right side, we can also set up our split percentages. So if you have an entry such as an automotive expense and you use that vehicle for 80% business and 20% personal, you can set up the split ratios here and when you make your entries, choose the split class and it'll do the math and do the entry for you based on that split. And you can edit those here. And further down at the bottom, you can set up pre-written descriptions for your most common entries. And so instead of writing them out over and over, you can simply create them here and you can choose them off the, the list when you make your entry. Once you're done, choose Save Changes and we're back to our main screen. Now we've got the file created uh, called new file one but we want something more descriptive so we choose save and we could call it bookkeeping file for whatever you want to call it and you save it and now we can see our file name has changed and now we can create some entries now before we create entries you can also at any point in time choose this star to tag this file as your current file that you're using and then next time you open the program, instead of choosing the open file command, you can just choose the current file command and it'll take you directly to your current bookkeeping file. Let's make a few entries. Now here we have an enter record screen and you simply follow through the prompts. Starting from the top, you can choose if this is a foreign currency, no receipt, or if it's reconciled with your bank account. And then going down, you can choose the date. You can choose your account type. You can also choose if it's a receivable or a payable. Now if you choose receivable or payable it'll show up with that but it won't affect your income and expense statement. So later when you actually get the money or you pay that bill you can then choose and edit the entry according to what account the money flowed in or out of. Let's make an entry for the checking account. Now we choose our class. Is it a general business expense or income? Is it personal or is it split between the two according to the ratios in our setup screen. You choose that here. You can also choose subclasses. So if you create a subclass for certain projects or properties or trucks or customers, you can choose from those subclasses here and make the entry specific. But let's go to project one on this one and let's say it's income and we can choose from our drop down descriptions and we can edit those here as well. And let's say we have a $5,000 income from that particular uh, entry. And we can see our entries are showing up here on this ledger list. You can also choose to edit the entry or delete the entry at any time. 
Now we'll go to our report screen at any time. You can see that the income and expenses are going to be listed here. On the left side, we have an overall summary, which is total business and personal. On the right side is a business only summary. And you can choose to print or export these reports, all of them, or just simply the business only one if you like. Now from here, you can just simply, you can continue making entries from here as well. I'm well, also going to note here that you can also choose to see just entries from certain subclasses, or you can choose to see all your entries and the financial statements will update themselves. And in this screen, the records will do the same. Let's do another entry. This time we're gonna do this one for December 17th. And let's say this is a repeating entry and this entry comes up also in November and let's say in October and you can continue selecting dates for this entry and let's say this is from our savings account it's a general business expense and we're gonna say this is a bank charge and this is six dollars each time and we hit submit and now you can see we have three entries there and we can save our file to make sure all these entries are saved then later we can look at our report and they're all summarized here nicely for you. So that's how the repeating entry function works as well. Now we mentioned you can also go and print your reports and you can export them as a spreadsheet or PDF and you can make changes to your setup screen at any time. Well, I hope you found that video helpful. Thanks for tuning in.